Roger Short, Chairman Cummings. Um, on November 5th, there was a farm to cafeteria um, conference in Glen where um, I think David's on the, um, you're on the um, board of the NRCS. The North and um, Natural Resources uh, Economic Development Council. Yeah, NRCS. <laughs> right, something like that. Anyway, um, I want to talk a little bit about um, some of the things um, that might happen that way. And um, I start off with, I, I know you commissioners are interested in local ag, but I don't think you really got a concept of what it takes to get what the farmers really need. And um, you just, you've supported um, agriculture land through conservation futures and taxpayer money. You, and also, but you also allowed the Jefferson County Land Trust to get some unfair favors for certain people who you feel are politically correct. I think you really need to promote more local and sustainable ag, but in my opinion, you do not have the knowledge concept. There have been numerous times when your political actions are siphoning in a disastrous effect for agriculture. I could talk an hour about the problems of ag and county, but I won't today. Uh, Jefferson County needs more agriculture infrastructure and markets for the more than 10% to 20% of the, our product. And then we had the conference in um, November. And I think that if Jefferson County would subsidize the school lunch programs $50,000 so they could afford to put lunch programs into the schools, it would return to the local farmers over $250,000 in local product that's used in the schools. And then we got all the other benefits along with it. Uh, which is more nutritious lunch meals, better nutrition equals better learning, more market for local farmers, health benefits, students pressures, parents for better meals, students develop a good lifelong nutrition habits, students learn real life issues about where food comes from. <coughs> and the last one I have here is the dollars from the new farm sales will circulate within Jefferson County, stimulating the economy and generating new tax dollars. And then we could add um, $25,000 to the senior citizens and um, you know, buy local food, which would um, in increase that turnover to local um, also. And third, um, some of the local farmers would like to have twenty-five. Uh, if we use a $25,000 jump start to start a farmer's cooperative marketing store or something like that so that we could uh, help um, sell more local produce in the area. Where we really need the biggest help, though, is in um, the permitting because um, the permitting slows down everything, and sometimes a stroke of a pin for the course people would settle this thing, they'd be on their way. I had that problem with the, my cheese facility I was working on. If you want to discuss this more about the farm to cafeteria, I'd be willing to talk to you anytime. Thank you.